Hey everyone, this is Lolo Reddy from Abstract Music Lab and today we're recreating the plucks from Lane 8's track Atlas and it sounds like this. Pretty damn close, I'm really happy with the result today and if you liked it as well, you can hit the like button, you can subscribe to the channel and you can also buy me a coffee, it helps me support the channel and I really 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 appreciate this. If you have any recommendations you can leave here in the comment sections, I love the challenge. But enough with the talking and let's get down to business, let's get down with the sound design, so let's initialize this preset. We're gonna first activate analog BD sign for both oscillators B and A. Oscillator A, we're gonna leave the octave at zero. Oscillator B, we're gonna leave the octave at minus one. The level we're gonna put at 82 for A and 51 for zero, for B. Nothing like we want, but we're gonna do an FM with the sub. So we're gonna put the octave over here at one. The level all the way down, we're gonna choose a sine wave. And we're gonna choose here FM from the sub for both waves. And I'm going to do this along with you. So put the oscillator A to 32 and oscillator B to 30. You can see how we shaped the sound a lot more without the sub, it wasn't almost anything. And with it, it basically gives the characteristic sound from Atlas. Now we're gonna modulate the filter with envelope one and envelope two. So envelope one, we're gonna leave it at 900 hertz, nine milliseconds, sorry. We're gonna leave the sustain at 18.3. Release, we're gonna leave at 511. You can see it has more of a ethereal plug kind of feeling to it. But we're gonna put this a little bit down. And for envelope two, which we're gonna use to modulate the filter, we're gonna put this to 850. We're gonna put the sustain to 20% and the release to 400. It's not gonna change anything in the sound right now because we're not actually doing any modulation. We're also gonna pick this handle and put it also a little bit down. But now with the filter, we're gonna put the cutoff all the way down. And we're already going to put the envelope two all the way up. MG low 12 to A and B. Now resonance to 5%. And the drive, we're going to leave it at 15%. 25%, sorry. It already sounds a lot more like we want, but we still need to create a noise for it. But we're not using this noise section over here. We're gonna do the noise outside of Serum with another Serum instance. That's because I don't want any of the effects to affect, and I don't want this filter to affect the noise as well. But I also want a little bit of filtering as well, so I can't do it with only one Serum. So duplicate Serum. We're going to deactivate B. A and the sub, we're gonna activate the noise and activate the noise over here. We're going to put this to band 24. We're going to take this modulation off, put it to 550. Now the resonance, we're gonna leave it at 23%. And this noise, we're gonna put this all the way down, but we're going to modulate this with the envelope two to 75. This is how it sounds like. Okay, we're gonna put the level also all the way up. Now with the sound, let's take a little bit of the sound down to 61%. It's just adding a tad of attack, a tad of noise over there and that's what we want with the noise and that's why I couldn't do over here in the noise section with only one instance. Let's go to the effects section. This is in the main pluck. So hyper and dimension all the way down, size all the way down, mix to 17%. Now we're going to activate a compressor. We're gonna basically give a little bit more of attention to the pluck and less to the body of the pluck. So we're gonna put the threshold to 29%, 29 dB. We're gonna put the ratio to five to one, attack to 168. The release, we're gonna leave it at 5.2, so a really short release. 
gain to 1.2. And you can see that without, basically the attack remains the same, but the rest is being compressed. Now distortion, we're gonna leave at 59% and the mix to 70%. You can see it brings a little bit of character in the sound. Now a filter to further shape the sound, we're gonna choose MG Low 18. We're gonna leave the cutoff at 129, the resonant at zero, and the drive at 14. And we're also modulating this at 58 with the cutoff. Now EQ, we're going to use a bell for both of them. We're gonna use a frequency at 427. And the Q, we're gonna leave it at 35%. And the gain, we'll leave it at three. We're basically giving a little bit of boost in that mud region, so. You see how it gains a, lot, a little bit of body. And now we're gonna give a little bit of high end to it. We're gonna put this at 11,000. Bam. Q, we're gonna put at 32%. And the gain at 6.2. You see how much more body it has now with the EQ? Now we're just moving into the reverb. In the reverb, we're gonna put the decay to 4.9. The low cut, we're gonna leave it at 45%, 46. The high cut also at 45%. And the mix to 39%. Now the delay, we're also gonna put here both to 1 8 dot. And also we're gonna put the here to 2000 and the Q to 1.4. And now the mix we're gonna put all the way up to 47% with ping pong. Pretty damn close, I'm really happy with this preset. If you liked it, you can hit the like button. If you loved it, you can subscribe to the channel or buy me a coffee also here in the description below. You can also buy my preset pack, which is available in the description or in the top right corner. And I hope to see you in the next abstract video next week. Ciao.